I need someone to come commentate with me. I'm not good at solo commentating. I need a commentator. All right, sounds to get in the mood. Sounds to set the mood for the Briv. Game two. Yeah, the delay sucks. I wish I didn't have to use the delay. People cheat in uh, pub games, so... Can't allow it in the tawny. Oh, the bill support, though. Let's get it. Ooh, the Princess of the Moon did not expect that. Team 2 combo looking strong though. Paladin, Warlock, Pirate. And the Dark Souls shows out. Ooh, the Mur. The Mur from ABC is going to be strong. Damn, team one. Like, match should be starting. I was just trolling. Are you on the road? Damn, you're crazy. Sex. Oof. Oof. I'm gonna do my boy Rise dirty like that. We're about to watch him uh <laughs> Ciao.
Rise is going. To... Rise is probably wanting he Heavenly Death Healer, but uh, they want Falcon for the transmute. I think. Ooh, he does get the Heavenly Death Healer out. A favorite of uh, Rise. But we got 40 seconds till attack. Honestly, this priv is so like fucked. I think they need to. They need to add in a new mechanic that just enforces mass start. What happened to Heisenberg? Um, they picked Speedy Ike over him. I'm pretty sure he's a sub for Team 4. Honestly, they got 20 seconds till. Like, this is so bad, like. Like, Tech's already up. I really feel like they need to add a mechanic that just enforces mass start. Like, the, the key thing is heroes being picked late because people want to see other people's heroes. Like, they just need to add something where, like, heroes are forced. Let's say, for example, you have you have 40 seconds to pick a hero. You don't pick a hero, you get an AR or your tavern. You know what I mean? I mean, like, tech's already up. Like, do you even go wards here, or do you just go straight for rifles? But yeah, this is a super, like, scuffed game from people just, like, not... not wanting to pick heroes out of the tavern. I feel like, uh... AP with bands is the way to go, but they need to do it, like, um... They need to do it, um like the day before to save time. Well, look, he's already got rifles in the field. Team 2 level 3 he's got rifles out. I should put the lead bomb. Oh, Team 2 down a lot. Team 1 looking like they're going to get a level 7 mass. If he has that lay out soon, they have a, a fat mass. Yeah, here we go. He just needs to. Uh... <laughs> this is such a bad game. And Colossals in mass. I'd love to see how Rise is still in his hero. I think he has to take Ulti here just because he has the Dino. The Dino Ulti from the Heavenly Death Eli is just so big. That Invis fireball into rifles. Oh, Team 4 do pick up the. Uh, oh, here comes the staff hall. Instantly stop. There's a fast silence from the fast here. Oh, and they do kill that build trying to hit an ult. Jammy already in the field though. How many transmutes are there? Oh, we only have two transmitters in the field, that's interesting. Alright, here comes the backstab from Team 4 though. So who have we got? We've got Team 1 that are quite in the lead. Hero kill and 20 unit kills. Let's see where we got 4 0. 6 and 2, 4 and 2, 6 and 2. Oh, but we are still at Grin. I got to pop over another energy drink. I thought Bill was banned. Uh, yeah, they changed it to. Uh, they changed it to. Uh, what's it called? Um, Standard Draft just because it was taking too much time. Ooh, I'm trying a new flavor of Red Bull. I think it's in the tropical edition of Red Bull. Tropical fruits. 
Yeah, that's quite nice. I am uh, needing this uh, Red Bull just to uh, stay awake in the, this game. Ah, just good. So we got level eight, level six, level eight, level six. Are we still upgrading the rifles? Team, team two and team four are. Team one as well. Curious to see uh, where they stop on upgrades. Yeah, I was like, you guys are seeing mass right now, how scuffed it is. We still do rifle upgrades, we are. Oh, collector's going for that. Was that eight and four? Oh, the silence, that was big. Good silence from the far side there, to set the edge blink. Force the TP. Okay, looks like we're kind of done. Oh no, team two is still upgrading. Did you have the jammy in the field though? I wonder if that corruptor is going to feel brave enough to take on the jammy. I mean, you can say how the brain gets middle, but like, how many times have we seen it where masses are just starting way, way too late? And it just favors AoEs. You have an AoE hero, like a big AoE? Uh, like, it just gets so much better when mass foots mass, you know what I mean? Okay, upgrades must be done now, right? Okay, upgrades are done. What have we got? We've got 9 and 5 on Team 1, 6 and 2 on Team 2, 7 and 2 on Team 3, and 7 and 5 on Team 4. So those seven, six and two works out about six and five with the armor from Paladin. So let's see how the, uh, I think Bill's already tried an ult, I think Mer ulti still on, still not used, so expressing the big Mer ulti out of my boy ABC. I feel like I want Team 3 to win. Got my boy ABC, my boy Dooms. I'm rooting for him, but at the same time I don't want them to win because if Team 3 win, that's the tournament done and over. Would like to see it go on for at least one game more. Are the early level 2 Hawks out of Slider? So do you have two hero kills so far? One on uh, Path Warlock and one on the uh, Bill who tried the cross map port. A lot of unit kills, 82 on the far seer. Well, the question we're all thinking, what's on everyone's mind is, oh, we do have the Heavenly Death Healer ulti coming out. Does get a hero kill. I was getting caught. Just get out. Could get the kill. The hill comes in. And he's out. Oh, another bad Bill He does get the turtle, but that's about it. Cannot use the uh, Bill in the middle of rifles like that. You have to use it a little bit away from them. Oh, he's got the hill there. Should be okay. So like I was saying, the question that is on everyone's mind right now, and what we're all thinking is, how many waves does this edge save this game? 
Are we going to get the Connect 3 again? Are we going to get the free wave combo? The Wombo combo wave from Endo Meister? We'll find out. So we do have two bad abilities out. Grand total of zero, zero unit kills. Uh, sorry, zero hero kills from the abilities and two heroes fed. Not a good look for my boy Dooms. I wish Katie would stay on until you got rid of it. 81 unit kills, 60. 47 on Murray. Ooh. When does Murray start off having pirate though? I still think Mer Warrior hasn't used ulti. But it kind of gets to a point where we could could have used ulti there. All he has to do is make sure he hits the Farsi with the ulti so we can't silence him. It does get to a point though where like you're holding ulti for that long, you start thinking, is it better just to get a mediocre ulti off, like an okay ulti, more often than just one good one? Is it better to farm that way? Might be the answer. Do we have any kind of silences on Team uh, 4 apart from the... No, nope. only the Farseer silence he has to worry about. Maybe the uh, Dark Sorcerer Salty as well. So Team 3's units are going to be really strong. I feel like this is a really good combo. You got the True Shot, the Bill Auras, and then you got the Mer AoE. Very strong. No Transmute though. Very interesting from Clocks Calling off his all, all these low health rifles when he has um, Healing Wave. Oh, we got Waves up. Everyone's uh, killing the uh, Footman. Team four, uh, team three do not have wave. Even the team four, team one and team two are the only ones with wave. Be an alright wave. Before the Murrah really went off, uh, Murrah anyway. Oh, Dooms might get caught again. Oh, they deny from my XO, I like it, respect. Dooms must have just woke up. Not looking too good. Paladin getting caught here. Ooh, the 6 HP Divine Shield. Divine Intervention right there. Oh, but he dies anyway. Rip. I don't know, actually. I feel like team, uh, the game 1 was good. Just too long. A lot of fighting, though, early game, and then a lot of late game action. Multiple penguins, darks, altar, god wards. Ooh, that was a very brave uh, transmute though with no TP. All TP to mid. If all TP to mid at the start, it's completely equal. You know, tell me you want to steal a CHF idea without telling me you want to steal a CHF idea. Hmm, so they all get all oh, sent to mid. So they all get to TP to mid. Uh, original idea, oh no, copyright. 
Panels, I see you, I see you! Man, our nose would be that high, he'd get TP to mid and think his game's bugged. I was just in base and now I'm in mid. What's going on? I got ND one wave. ND two wave during uh, 750 seconds. Oh, Wendy's in all chat again. Hey, Wendy. Oh, Wendy with a smart talk. This guy's been in America for 30 minutes and now he's uh, flaming. I think it means Team 1's invis. Yeah, with that Heavenly Death healer. Oh, is he gonna get caught here? Oh, not sure about that son. Oh, no, they got the Paladin! Oh, big killer! Yeah, I don't know about priv, priv mass working as it is. It's just you send team one like team one might have been discussing the strategy, but what another not so good ulti and another fed hero kill. Dooms is having a shocker. I'm sorry, Dooms. You're my, you're my friend. I like you, but you know I I gotta say it out. Not good abilities. Zero on three, three strikes, and you're out. Honestly, I think a little bit of it revolves around people wanting to see what other teams pick. I think maybe what should happen is you you get to see the opponent's tavern for five seconds, and then night starts. You've not got vision. You can't use KD to see other people's heroes. So at that point, there's no there's no benefit to holding out on your hero pick and seeing other people's picks. I don't know, just a fart. Feel for fart, you know what I mean? No, as you think about that. Back to the game. Ooh, very long range transmute. Oh, it's dead. That is a sad transmute. Chintok getting caught though on the pirate trying to get back to base. Looks like it was another ulti. Team 1 pulling ahead again though. This is what happened last game. They had a, a big lead, um, but it didn't go that well at the end. So team one very very much in the lead. Mm -hmm. 
No TP on the Paladin though. Oh, they call it Jami. Oh, he does hit that uh, Paladin only to bring it back. Oh, and he's found a new hobby. Instead of stacking waves, he's now stacking invis pots. Five invis pots. But I believe we do have every team holding wave. So I feel like um, obviously the wave the wave will benefit Moari the most. He can hit that wave AOE and um, pretty much kill everything in its path. Charge, you know, it's um, a bit difficult. You do have the two AOEs. It's not too bad. Farsia, you can't really control the AOE. You might hit full health rifles with the AOE. Oh damn, he got out of that. Has he got spell shield? Alright, so coming with a push. Oh, the ulti is out. Oh, quite good to stop that way. Ooh, the wave though. Oh, the second wave. Oh, path is dead. Oh, three waves there, another five seconds. Wait, we have Endy using wave one before collecting the second wave. Yo, who's on Endy's account? This is not the real Endy. Who's in here? But team one are eating. Oh, lost the turtle. Oh, level two edge ulti though. Ooh, he finally got a hero kill. Oh, and he TP's out for once. So we still got Team Wallen with a big lead. Oh, the double helicopters coming out though. Oh, I was thinking it might have Hawks or something like this. Oh, the ult needs to try and save the Corruptor, but he still goes down and he feeds the, the ult, the Inferno. Not a good look for my boy Clocks. Honestly, they might have to they might have to pray Clocks DCs again. They definitely did better without him. I'm just kidding, Clocks. Relax, okay? Relax. Damn, I'm kinda hoping this doesn't continue actually. My my throat's already shot. Doing too much talking. We're in game two. Like my throat's going down. My fucking throat's going down faster than the uh, clock's uh, internet in game one, you know what I mean? It's another catch. You know, when are you going to learn from this uh, Heavenly Death Healer ulti? My boy Al flexing there, only using two of the invis rifles to kill the Princess of the Moon out of the uh, full group that was invis. A little bit of flexing, you know. We do have the early ring out again from Al. Did it the previous game. 
Ooh, but we do have Team 4 with a uh, fast ring as well. How are we sitting though? 8 and 4 on Team 3, 8 and 6. Ooh, spicy on Team 4. Team 1, 9 and 5, and Team 2, 7 and 4. But they do have the um, uh, the Devil Arrow. Puts it at 16, which is ahead of the 5, actually. 49% damage reduction, 40%. Quite fat. The true fact here is Healing Wave, you reckon? How many healing waves do we have out? One healing wave, two healing wave. And we have two healing waves. I feel like, did we have any healing waves in the previous game? I feel like there might have been one. All right, it's only a personal battle with that jammy. Just like that, getting a bit confused there. Oh, damn, you guys are 17k when you did penguins. Could I go worth to defend? Yeah, true. Oh, altered. Oh, you might get the hero here. Oh, that is not a good ulti. Oh, but he does get him. The uh, holy light there from the uh, Heavenly Death Healer is crucial. Not very good usage of the uh, down ulti though, just spamming the firebolt, hoping for the best. Praying, praying for the best outcome. Ooh, we are teching up. Al might try and finish this early if he goes straight to tier three. We do have the tier three coming out. This could be some uh, huge pushes coming out from Al. They do have the Heavenly Death Healer ulti to uh, allow for that spell breaker. Um, ulti all in. You know, team four got very minimal rifles. Team two. I feel like this could be a uh, easy base kill right now. It does have that overdrive coming in. The spellbreakers do have a high spawn rate, so we're going to see a, a lot of units out fast here. We do have a rat reveal. Will someone call out the spellbreakers? I mean, like even right now, if you push through these spellbreakers, he could base kill team four. They're going to take out the Zekka, probably. Oh, we do have Chintok calling it out. Oh, we are going for tech on uh, Team 2, though. Do they do they have enough um, gold for the Tier 3? No, it's just the Arch tech again. Oh, we do have the Arch tech as well. I am not a techer, so I'm not exactly sure of the... Uh, the reasoning behind this, do uh, archers perform better versus spellbreakers? We do have a lot. Team 1 are currently in Viz and Hunting. Oh, we are going for the all in. We got four workers. Oh, and the ulti. That is a big ulti from the from the builder to stop the base kill. Not sure about the follow-up AOE though. Uh, the ulti from the mill warrior. Girl late game, not that good. Honestly, I think... I think... Um, Foot Girl late game is probably one of the best. It's probably one of the only AoEs that can farm tier 4 units. Um, Dryads. You got the Mass Entangle that can stop base kills. The Ulti that can stop base kills. Interchange is going to catch a lot of heroes. Like all, all, f you got the spell shield as well. Like all four of those spells are a good late game, in my opinion. Probably one of the better late game heroes. So it looks like the lobby is turning a little bit onto Team 1. You can see that Bill Ollie. But we've got a big push coming in here. Team 2 could lose here. Let's see what Team 4 do. Team 4 are going for the backstab. Oh, they are going for, they are going for the uh, Paladin's base. 
We've got two workers coming out. Is it enough? Oh, we've got the wave out. There we are. Oh, they might still get it. And he's down. Now they just need to see if they can uh, stay in base. Do you need some healing waves out onto these ultis? Onto the phoenixes? I get it defended. Looks like Team uh, Team Free are gonna eat in here. At this point, I think uh, I think this team should kill me. I think he bought like two free workers as he died. Used the wave. Okay, good play from Chintok. Let's see if Path does the same. Oh, hi, N21. Uh, again, one was won by X or ABC and Junior PL. Are we putting on a show? We're we going to wall a fountain. So it looks like both teams do have vision of this. Wow, teach me excited. It's just the Red Bull kicking in, you know what I mean? And I'm on that, um, oh no's, oh no's fake uh, energy hype up Tony uh, attitude, you know what I mean? I was like, could you imagine if we had like a very first setting where like there was no like all chat, you could do all chat, there was no whispering. Is anyone carrying a uh, Staff of Silence though for the build? No one carrying a Staff of Silence for the build. Very, very questionable. I mean, this is looking, this is looking real good right here. Team three have got no units. If he went into Team Three's base right now, it would be wraps. Slide that come with a big push. Ooh, the fast he just gets out. Carlin? Oh, he's going for the... With the bolt, he's coming out. Looks like team... Oh, with the healing wave, though. Oh, close, but just not enough gas. Very questionable, you've got the Mur ulti, you've got the ability, and zero Staff of Silences. You know, these people play a lot every day, they see the Staff of Silence daily. Al, one of the most infamous players for carrying Staff of Silence in Priv games. It comes to Tawny, and where is the Staff of Silence? Al's forgotten his basics. Normal Priv, better tour. Yeah, honestly, like, do you even count this as a tournament? No Devil's Rebel, no Tawny, in my opinion. This is just a overrated pub game. Oh, will they get that coil? Where's the coil? Too slow. Rise 10 years late with the coil. I 
Maybe see carrying the wave though. Honestly, maybe they should just invest in a uh, a rod. Pull the AXO strat on AXO. I mean, Mur has the uh, AOE here, so it's all debates on the healing wave. Needs the healing wave right now. Could NT. Oh, yeah, he's down. He's done so. Lazy worker, not repairing. Oh, but the Talons are pushing out here. Where is the edge? Oh, the edge made it back to base. Is wave up? Oh, wave is on cooldown. Ooh, he does get the uh, dino there. And we do see the uh, save tech coming out. You know, we have to ask the question. Gina PL game one on Mer Warrior and they get a win. Second game, ABC on Mer Warrior and it's looking like no win. You know, was it the Gina PL factor? Is Gina PL Mer Warrior just better? Maybe we need to substitute one of these players out for Gina PL. Get him back in. But that uh, edge is about to hit 16. There's a very common question here where um, you're at level 15, you're in the early game advantage. The level 16 will farm hard, but do you invest that 1.2k into a tome? So it is looking like this is a game for team 1 or team 4. But do you have the transmute on team 1? But it is nice to see the uh, no transmute team uh, having the advantage, right? They're the ones that are uh, playing more uh, aggressive. They have the healing wave built for pushing rather than camping and transmute. Oh, we do have the Staff of Silence now out on the Dino. He, he's, he's learned his lesson. He's been hit by two backstab abilities that have uh, stopped crucial pushes. And now we're on the uh, Staff of Silence. Back to, back to Owl Basics. Back to the Owl we know. Somehow Lloyd does not know uh, the heroes. Quick little recap in case anyone's wondering. Looks like uh, Andy is farming here. There comes a big, big, big spellbreaker push. He does have the Staff of Silence. Are they going to be able to silence him? He's going for it. But they did use the Staff of Silence, but Billy is still up. They have lost all the spellbreakers. Not much synergy with the uh, Banished Coils here. The Banished level, level 13 Coil, level 13 Lightning, very strong. Should one-shot most heroes, actually. And we do have the Knights coming out. I think we should see uh, Edge hit 16 real soon here, especially on this push. Can you see the banished coil? Oh, the silence. We have another another big ulti coming out. Two hero kills there. If they do choose to push here, the edge will get all solo XP from any units killed. So we could see a fast 60 now. I think we do need to see Jammy out here. Ok, 
Okay, the jammy does come out. And we are down our second energy drink. Oh, the foot girl does get caught. Turn on the foot girl, Dax Lazarus. And we hit the 16 edge, the 16 heavenly death healer. The banished coil should one shot most heroes. Should be a lot of farm right here now. That is a big ability. Uh, Dan Oli. I can't get him heroes mixed up. What's wrong with me? Oof, they should end Bill here. In fact, they should just go for pink. He's only tier one. And he is going for the bill. Uh, the princess in the meantime. Oh, and that is done. So that is wraps for team one. We will see a game three. Now we're in the three versus three. Surely a rod on the far side will uh, basically be wraps. If he's smart, he will just bring a, uh, a horse with a rod. So it looks like nothing suspicious, right? With the jammy running in there. Okay, we go. Will they get the invis? Oh, they do get the rod. Teach me, just call in plays. Is, am I inside Al's set? What are they going to go for? They're going for the rod. I think it might be too late. This base might be down. This base should be down, 100%. Did you hit a rod? And the Corruptor is down. Next base. Next base. Slada. Ending it in 46 minutes. What was that? That was... Every, I'm pretty sure he base killed every team. I actually only resort is to flame. What's up, big homie? And that is wraps. Team slide out, rise, and ND take game two. Clutch guy. Ooh. I think Slider. No, I should have done a KD right at the end. Damn, a lot of... Wow, Rise, Rise is Heavenly Death Healer was actually out farming the farce here. Sums up this game, to be honest. Complete slaughter. Complete slaughter.